Ethan, it looked like that, that injury looked like it might be pretty bad. Right? What happened originally? I mean, it seems like you bounced back pretty quick. Well, I just stepped on the defender's ankle, so I was just in the locker room just to stretch it out a little bit, and I was able to come back from my team. Did you think it was worse or at all at the time? I think it was worse. <laughs> Shook it so much adrenaline, I think it was just going to be okay. Andy was talking about, I'm sure, of course, he's talking to you a lot about being more aggressive offensively than you were at night. And is that part of being a freshman and trying to get fit in with everybody? Well, absolutely. They said they wanted me to play how I played in high school. So I think me being aggressive, I think our team is a lot better that way. So I can free up shots for my other teammates like I did in the second half. It's because of my first half performance. So I think the whole team is better when I'm aggressive. Hey, hey, Jonah, how's the ankle? Oh, I caught a cramp. Was uh, it a cramp? It's cool, yeah. yeah. I got some water in my system over there. Yeah. Nick, you had the rough game against Washington and the team as a whole did. How did you and the team as a whole shake that off and bounce back like that? Well, you know, that, that's just a part of, you know, college basketball. You know, you take one day at a time and, you know, you have to, you have to just bounce back, you know. So, myself, I, I struggled, you know, play one of the worst games of my career against Washington and come out here and play one of my best ones. So. Um, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta move on. And you gotta come with a new mentality. Um, I think uh, John and Ethan, they were spectacular today, the whole game. Um, you know, just Ethan stayed aggressive the entire game. Got us over shots. He made, made my job easy. Just catching layups. Jonah hit me a couple times on, on some cuts with open layups. So you know, it's, uh, it's great when you, when you got teammates that can just make open plays for you and you just have an easy layup. You know what I mean? Nick, why, why were you able to get? Shots up inside and, and oh, really? Did he, he got very few opportunities. Uh, I mean, he struggled. He was in foul trouble, you know. So that, uh, you know, I know from experience and being in foul trouble, you know, that could uh, that could take a, a mental toll, you know, and you just kind of getting in the groove of the game and things like that. So, um, you know, it's a uh, we're gonna need O down the line though. He's a great player, you know. He's uh, he's a big part of this team, and uh, you know, today, thankfully, you know. All the guys were able to step up, you know, and, uh, and uh, we were we did what we wanted to do today, which is get a win uh, at a very tough place to play. And uh, you know, now we gotta now we gotta focus on uh, two home games. Right on. on the flip side, the freshman, you know, the confidence level any freshman goes through the games are coming at you quick, and the competition level being what it is. How is your confidence level kind of? Well, certainly, in the beginning of the season it was really high, and it was continued to get low because we were playing often. I'm not used to that. So getting those open shots I wasn't used to. But like I said, after the Washington game, we watched film and coach really stood me and the players like I could shoot the ball. And they tell me shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And I never had that. The teammates like that, they tell me I can shoot it like that. So they give me a bunch of confidence coming to, into this game. And once I hit one, I just get it going and keep it to be aggressive and make the defense guard. So you feel like when you hit that three early on, that kind of boosted your confidence for yeah, the rest definitely. of the game? Yeah, definitely. Once I see one go in, it boosts my confidence. and makes me play defense better and everything that well is better. The fact that Onyek, if you have kind of a quiet offensive game for you guys, right? Four of you guys, I think we're in double digits and kind of do what you guys did offensively. How encouraging is that kind of going forward? It's very encouraging. I knew that this team was that deep because playing in practice, everybody, any given night, they can get 15, 16 points for us. So just come into the game, I think that the opposing team has to choose one. And it chose all today, so it opened up for people like us to come in and stay aggressive here to score some easy buckets. Johnny, you talked to a couple days ago about how easy it would be to just shake off the slump. You guys have been shooting better before. Did it feel like this was the kind of game where you do shake off that slump that's behind you? Uh, yeah, we've been there before. You know, me and Nick have been here four years. We've been to the best time and the worst times, uh, best games, the worst games. So um, it's coming in tonight. We got the, the rush shaken off. We got blown off by Washington last week. One game at a time, let it go. Now our man momentum's back, and we're rolling again. So it felt good to get a win and play it good as everybody played today. Jonah, Nick, what did it mean to get your first win at Poly your senior year? Um, honestly, this feels surreal, amazing. Um, we've been here with some of the best UCLA teams. We've been here neck and neck with them every single game for the past four years that I've been here. It feels good to finally come out on one and not by just single digits by double. But so it just feels good. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted this one bad. I'm not gonna lie, me and Jonah both did. You know, just uh, you know, being here for so long, and just you know, it being the rivalry. You know what I mean? And just uh, you know, I'm. I wasn't even from here, so like when I got in, like I didn't even know like how big it was, you know, being from Chicago. So I was just like, you know, like I didn't really know like the whole hype about it. But then like when you spend your time here, and then you're just like, wow, like it's really <laughs> like what it is, you know what I mean? So I was, uh, it was important to me, man, that we got that we got this win for, you know, obviously the the fact that me and John haven't won here before, but also you know to put us in a better situation with Pac-12. John, what's it like being a veteran going to the same Pac-12 places year after year, and really knowing what to expect? 
being in all those different situations? It's honestly amazing because um, the freshmen don't know. I tell them like, it's going to be a crazy game. It's not going to be a crazy game, but going in every game in Pac-12 is crazy. So it's just fun to go visit those places again and know those places are going to be rowdy. And it's, the more rowdy, the more fun it is. It's just great to see all the freshmen, see their faces. and just It's honestly amazing. I enjoy every minute of it. On the other side, Cronin has been really kind of stressing defense and hustling and all that. Do you sense a different age to the CCLA team? I mean, yeah, Cincinnati, he was a hard-nosed defensive coach. They won, went to the tournament multiple times uh, based on their defensive uh, abilities. Um, he brought that here for sure. Um, they, we, uh, throughout the four years, I've been here, they never pressured us that high. They never pressed us like that. So I can definitely see them uh, him instilling that defensive mindset in their program right now. Yeah. Hey, jo Jonah, what's the, what's the problem with foul shooting just as a team? It seems... Uh, just different things. It might be nerves. Some people might be arc too high. Just it could be anything. Um, but I feel like tonight we knocked some free throws in, um, trying to extend the game. But during the stretch, we got to knock them down. Just got to concentrate. Got to work on it when you get back in the in the gym. Anything else?